Joining us is Larry Nichols, the consummate Clinton insider, to talk about what's happening, what's unfolding. Larry, what do you want to tackle first? Uh, the election, the bombings, uh, the latest inside baseball on the investigation into the Scalia death. Uh, what's front and center, my friend? Front and center, Alex, I believe, is the election. I, just before coming on this program, I received information about the strategy from the RNC, the new strategy. And uh, pretty dastardly. But, you know, Alex, I got to say this in front of your audience. I've done worse things in elections. I mean, I've read more elections than most people have voted in. What they're going to do, and this comes from what you saw with Jeb Bush endorsing Cruz. What they're going to do is they're going to go to all extremes to make sure that Trump does not get 1237. They're going to do everything they can. They're going to back him. They're going to support Cruz. They're going to look like they're on fire for Cruz. But it's simply to keep Trump from getting 1237. At that point, they've got a brokered convention. And you know, Alex, I tried to tell people last time I was on with you. You said that, this 10 months ago on our show. I know. You know, these parties, folks, they're not government agencies. They, they can change the rules as they choose, when they choose. They're rigging it against Trump. Now, I would give anything if somebody in this audience had the ability to get Trump to call me because I can tell him what they're going to do and give a strategy against it. For example, they're fixing to start showing on the news that Trump's audiences are diminishing. That's right. They're going to start showing that his big speeches and all these people coming by the tens of thousands, they're diminishing. Do you know how they're doing that? They're doing that with George Soros. You see, these protesters that are showing up at, at Trump's speeches. They're blocking the people from getting there. Well, what they're trying to do, they're trying to get people to come out with violence, start ruckuses, because they know they know, Alex, that moral Christian conservatives, they're not into that. And so why would people come to a speech when they run the risk of getting hurt? Why would you bring your children to something that would be irresponsible? Sure, it's a chilling effect. It's, it is. And then so, of course, guess what happens? You get to hear that his audiences are dwindling down. The magic is gone. So the answer is it's got to be bigger audiences for the First Amendment to counter that baloney. Absolutely. You know, folks, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you how to counter that. Go to Trump's rallies. When you see these paid protesters, don't pay them any attention. Don't get in a shouting fest with them. Don't do anything. Just pretend they are not there. Now, the other thing, anybody that gets attacked, this is a little inside trick that I guess I can be shot for telling you, but I'll tell you. Anybody that gets attacked, they need to file criminal charges. But what's neat about filing criminal charges, Alex, these people are being paid to be there. They're being paid to be there. And so they so go whoever, back and demand lawyers and all the rest of it, and that exposes the racketeering operation. You got it. And whoever paid them to go to that speech and to protest and throw a fit and cause violence that person is a co-conspirator. Sure. When are people going to start pushing back to Soros? I mean, that old ugly, uh, you know, uh, Nazi collaborator. I mean, I mean, why is that guy so above the law? Money, power. You know, he's he's right at the epicenter. You know, I told you, I told you until I'm sick of telling that they're not going to indict Hillary. I don't think there's anybody now that has any doubt they're not going to indict Hillary. And the RNC is doing everything it can to make sure Hillary wins. I know, I know it sounds crazy, but they are. They're going to pick their original candidate, I feel like, may still come back into the poll. Because once they go to that broker convention, you understand they can pick anybody they want Sure, to. when you were on nine, ten months ago saying that they're their own group, they can do whatever they want. They can stage it. Even the NFL's own tickets say it's all fake. Now, it's not all mm -hmm. fake, but when they want to make it fake, it is fake. It's even on the tickets like it's a WWF wrestling match. Well, the parties are even worse. They now have the head of the RNC Rules Committee on CNBC. I'm sure you saw that clip 
admitting, look, it's all staged, your vote doesn't matter. Yes. She says, mm -hmm. so there shouldn't be a primary? He goes, that's right, and laughs at her. That's right. And, you know, they go with this ruse that the first time around in the convention, the delegates have to vote with the vote of their state. That is an out and out lie. The delegates that are elected, when they get to that convention, get to vote their free will. That is the actual rule. And all this is about is to strip Trump of 1237. They beat him out of 1237, Alex. And we're going to get an appointed presidential candidate for the RNC. And they're now that openly admitting Paul Ryan or Mitt Romney and, and having liberal media even mainline that that's okay to now have appointed candidates. There'll be a backlash against the Republicans mm -hmm. and Hillary will sail into victory. That's exactly it. That's it. You know, folks, I'm going to tell you, we can stop this. We can stop it, Alex. But Donald Trump, now, I'm not trying to get a job. I don't want to work for Donald Trump. I want to do what I do while I still have breath in my lungs, which may not be that long. I want to do what I do. He has got to call me. Because, as you know, Alex, and maybe you can convince him, I've got inside tips on what's coming. It just hit me. We're under martial law when they have parties appointing candidates. I mean, they've had that on the books since 76, Democrats in 72, but the boldness of it and the boldness of don't use the word mother or father and you use the wrong word, we're going to arrest you. And Europe's doing it. They've arrested the, the front runner, Marie Le Pen, who's a milk toast conservative. People didn't recognize Nazi Germany or Soviet Russia in the middle of it till later. We are entering sick stuff, and rolling over to it, folks, is not the answer. I, I, I want to talk about solutions and how to counter this in the next segment. We got about three, four minutes left, Larry. You know, you were involved in all sorts of regime change in Latin America, black ops, and you can't get into it, it's classified. But that's why they hired you for dirty tricks, obviously, you know, with the Clintons and the Dixie mob. It's all the same group. But you're a guy that's reformed, woke up to it, and said, I'm not killing kids. That's the backstory of folks that just tuned in. You know, you found your soul again, as you said, and hit your knees, and that's great. But a lot of folks in government are doing that too right now, but the system's just moving forward. You talk about the Strong Cities UN initiative. That was in my local paper that the UN's going to tell my government how to work. I mean, I'm living under world government now, and the average yuppie has no idea what they're living under. What's coming next, Larry? And, and everything you just heard well, me say, uh, is that uh, wrong or is that right? Uh, no, that's all right. Excuse the dog, somebody's walking by. But let me say this. Executive Order 13391, I know you've reported on it. It is the National Patriots Defense of Liberty Enabler Act. That thing calls, Alex, that thing calls for federal territories to fall, all federal ter territories to fall under Agenda 21, number one. But here's the kicker. It also facilitates the president to bring in uh, UN troops to this country. Now, guys, if you don't think we're close, remember what I told you, Alex, about Cuba? It says it officially. Wow. It's been in the Washington Post. You said six months ago they were going to use Cuban troops as part of the invasion force because they can mix in and speak Spanish. I mean, if, I mean, if it was you know Chinese troops or Russian, folks would fight. Listen, it is. Six hours, they can have 250,000 black hat troops in this country. I have fought them. They're formidable. They are. Now, add to that, that executive order, where did it come from? Where did it come from, Alex, out of the blue? Why would he do that? Then, Obama normalizes relationship with Cuba. But here's the kicker. Why did he go to Cuba? I mean, go down there to watch a ball game? Uh-uh. You see, there are plans that have to be made, I believe, towards the facilitation of bringing those troops into this country that he can't make out of the White House. And I tell you, the those left would worship ears. that. They would love to see foreign troops kicking conservatives and veterans' guts out in the street. They, they just lust for our blood. Well, I'm telling you, he's over there right now, I believe. I can't prove this in a court of law, but soon I will be able to. Castro looked oh, like he was honest. having an orgasm. The, the communists look like heaven has happened when he's over there. Yeah, 
And I'm telling you, they're working out the fine details of this operation. 